morning, Northside. It's Friday, October the 13th. I'm Lisa Marchacon. And I'm Raquel Munoz. And your Grizzly News starts right now. Electric lights blow my mind, but I feel alright. I don't wanna go to school, I just wanna break the rules. If you are in a giving mood and want to help spread a little cheer, we have just the project for you. Right now, the International Club is collecting individual bags of candy to hand out to the children in the hospital. They are also asking for donations of small candy bags and small stuffed animals. They will hand these donations out on Halloween. You can drop your donations off to room 208. Like Raquel said, you have until Halloween to make this happen. Remember, no candy with peanuts because of food allergies. If candy isn't your thing, you may also donate fruit snacks. In other grizzly news, graduation may be seven months away, but some of you are already receiving your college acceptance letters. And when you get your letter in the mail, bring it to Mrs. Cook's room in room 104 to get your college acceptance poster made. The first one is free, and after that, it will cost 10 bucks to make changes. Speaking of graduation, next Tuesday, seniors will meet up in the auditorium to discuss graduation supplies. At this time, you'll find out how much it will cost to purchase your cap and gown, senior mug, and other accessories. Right now, we want to give a big shout out and big congratulations to the new inductees into the Grizzlies National Honors Society. The ceremony was held earlier this week for students with a 3.5 GPA or better. So we'd like them to know Northside is proud of you. Hey, wait, wait, hold up. Go with the locker right there. What's the way that they have to A few moments later. Man, that test was crazy, man. Tell me about it. Hey, I already know. I passed it. I already know what I Bro, look, my stuff is missing. Hey, dog, look, look. They left a note, bro. Boom. Boom? Hey, what booking? Dude, they be taking stuff, man. Oh, bro, he got me, bro. He took everything you got. I told you. I told you. I don't care about that. Yo, listen. See? Nah. So, Raquel, do you remember a few months back we called out an AP Psych teacher, Mr. Hyatt to be exact? Well, now we're doing it again. Yep, Mr. Hyatt, we've been asked to remind you to pay up for parking in the seniors' parking lot. In case you forgot, that offense is punishable with a $20 fine to student council. That's right. If you'd like, we'd be more than happy to film you do it just so everyone is clear that you did pay up. We hope to hear from you soon. You know how to find us. Moving on, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Northside is taking part in a national campaign to highlight the importance of breast awareness, education, and research. Students can do their part in donating during your first period class in a canister that looks like this. <laughs> The first period class that raises the most money will have a donut party. 
The campaign would go until the end of October. Switching gears, the Grizzly Choir will compete at the All Region Choir Contest at Southside tomorrow. We want to wish them all good luck. Midterms are upon us. Check out this PSA on how you can get your grades up. Year, hundreds of students gather on high school football fields across the country in efforts to challenge their peers to read the Bible and grow stronger in their Christian faith. This year, two of Northside's own will take part in that challenge. For more on how you can take part in this year's Field of Faith, here's a message from Siobhan Kimbrough and Cole Eddins. Hey guys, I'm Paul Eddins. And I'm Siobhan Kimbrough. And we wanted to talk to you about Fields of Faith next Wednesday, October 18th at 7 p.m. at Southside High School. I will be at the NC of the event as well as Lauren Sutherland, a student that goes to Southside High School. And I will be a speaker as well along with other students in the River Valley. Our main speaker will be Adrian Branch. He's a former NBA champion for the LA Lakers and he is now an ESPN analyst. Also, the first 750 people will get free food. And we'll be throwing out free t-shirts like these, so you don't want to miss. Hope to see you there. Now it's time for your sports news. Let's send it over to Grizzly Sports reporter Josh Waters with this week's 90 Second Sports. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of 90 Second Sports. Myself, Josh Waters. Today I've got senior defensive lineman Julio Zanuba. What's up? I must, man. So, we're going into tonight's game. We're two and four. What does the team need to get into the state playoffs? We need, you know, to uh, obtain two more wins. But if we get three, then that's a for sure, you know, still the deal for us. So that way we can have a good spot out there. Uh huh. So what's the team doing in practice this week to get ready for tonight's game? We've been adjusting, like we've been going over film, like we look at missed tackles on defense, we've been looking at, you know, offensive schemes that, that these teams have, and we're trying to prevent making mistakes and prevent, you know, missing chances to stop the offense in the future. So what's the team's pre-game ritual on game day? Well, you know, everyone's different, but, you know, for me, I like to sit in a quiet spot and just listen to motivational speeches. People like Ray Lewis and Eric Thomas are really good speakers. You know, like if any player should try to get their, you know, their pump up in them, like I suggest like going to, like resorting to these speeches in order to obtain, you know, a good mindset. Uh -huh. Good luck tonight. Appreciate it. Guys. Okay. 
remember, to see yourself or your friends here on GNN on Fridays, all you have to do is take a picture and tag it to GNN Squad on Instagram. We can't put everyone up, but we'll try our best to make it happen. Well, that's it for this week. We hope you guys liked the show. Good luck to the Grizzlies tonight against Conway, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye!